Okay, well here's something kind of scary on this Volvo 760 I've been working on for a while. Uh, I was looking at some lines under the hood here and you know this is a fuel injected engine so it's got a pressure line also known as a feed line from the fuel pump and then it's got a return line in the fuel injection system and the feed line runs at higher pressure and the return line runs at quite a bit lower pressure it's not you know it's not under that much pressure but looking at that line and uh, it looked really bad the uh, return line so here it is over here I've re removed this from the car and it normally it kind of lays in I've taken the battery off by the way the connector off the battery um, it kind of lays in here and it runs down from the fuel pressure regulator to it's got a if you look down in there, it's got the connection that it goes to the frame line uh, right down there. So, take a look at this. If the camera will focus on this, I've been never too successful with that. But look at the surface of this thing. It's got all kinds of cracks in it, and that's just without flexing it. If I flex it any, then look at that. That is seriously bad do not want to you do not want to run something like that this is probably the original line I would surmise there's the end of it it's got cracks around it's pretty the inside of this thing is hard as a rock as a matter of fact when I was looking at it I kind of turned it a little bit and it actually turned on the, the little uh, port on the pressure regulator it connects to so that's kind of scary. So here's what I got I'm going to replace this with. This is uh, some good quality fuel injection rated fuel line. If I can get the writing up here. It's Gates Barricade 225 PSI maximum rating fuel line. Rubber fuel line. It's set up for exactly what this application is and you don't necessarily have to well let me take that back some people have said that you don't have to have that on the return side but i'm not taking any chances if it's on a fuel injection system i'm putting fuel injection line on it so this stuff's not cheap i think i got four foot of it here three and a half foot something like that but i've got every bit they had and so i'm going to replace that stuff right now this thing's got rubber lines all under it. I mean, from the factory, it's got rubber lines. Kind of crazy if you ask me, but that's Volvo for you. Now, I was kind of confused when I was starting to do this between which one was a supply line and which was a return. The one I just showed you is a return there. comes off the regulator. The supply line is this one that's right in there, and it comes from the pump and the filter along the bottom of the car and comes up through here. And that's a nylon line, which I am not messing with that because those things, that is, you just, more or less you have to replace the whole thing when you replace it. And it's not easy to do. So if it's not leaking and it doesn't look deteriorated, I'm going to leave that one alone. So anyhow, I'm going to replace that. Just make sure you check your lines on these things and uh, look for any leakage. So. Okay, thanks for watching. Got any questions, feel free to ask them. See you guys.